Hey folks, welcome to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, October 21st, 2018, and we're fixing to close out the bee season, uh, at least uh, honey-wise. We're gonna do our second harvest on our uh, honey. We're gonna pull all the supers off today and uh, get them ready for extraction. The ones that aren't done, we're gonna set them out and uh, open feed them, let the bees take that honey back into their hives and they'll have that for winter. Uh, meant to do this a couple weeks ago, but the weather didn't cooperate. We've had a lot of rain lately and uh, it's been cold. So it's a beautiful day today and uh, hopefully we can uh, get them all off of here and get it taken care of. So let's get started. Okay, real quick, what we've got to do is uh, we're gonna pull off the honey super. So for those of you who don't know what that means, the big boxes, these here, uh, those are the, we call them deeps or brood boxes, brood chambers. That's for the bees to keep. So these two deeps are for the bees and between the deep and these mediums or what we call honey supers, there's a wire, what we call queen excluder. So the queen can't go up in here and lay. So up in here is where we have our honey. These have been harvested once this year in July and I put them back on to protect the comb from wax moths. So anywhere you see these uh, honey supers, the medium sized boxes, we're gonna pull all those off. Okay, we're gonna start right here at hive number two. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I don't know if I wanna use a honey robber or not. I'm probably just gonna pick frames that uh, can be harvested and cull the ones that can't. And uh, I'll just kind of sort through them like that. Uh, I know this hive number here, hive number four right here, I believe I can probably use a honey robber on it and just take the whole super because I'm hoping that one's done. It wasn't done in July, but I'm hoping it's done now. So let's get in here real quick and see what we find. And some of these may not have hardly any honey in them at all. So Yeah, so this is gonna be a totally empty super that never did get drawn out. So basically there's nothing in it. Show you what we've got here. So we've got undrawn comb. It's just wax foundation. So this will just pop off and uh, go into storage. Let me show you something kind of cool here with the high beetles. Okay, so you can see here, it's a totally empty super. So not even drawn out. But what I wanted to point out was, uh, got these beetle traps here, but look at the uh, edge here. So I keep my frames to the front. So there is a, place where the bees built a little trap for themselves to keep the beetles jailed up. They call those beetle jails. That's the frame I just pulled. So see all those little squares? What I'm point, talking about is right here. See right in there that little pocket that they made? Get my shadow out of the way. So this is what the bees make to, to control Hive beetles. So we're gonna smoke any bees that are up in here out of here and just move this super off. So now that I've got the super off, I wanna check the weight of this uh, deep brood box here. 
make sure they've got enough honey to get through winter. And there's a lot of weight to that. So this one's good to go. And again, this is a totally empty super. Bees didn't use it at all this year. It's just an empty foundation. Yes, that's very heavy. So this hive won't need feed as well. Feed, won't need fed. Won't need to put any sugar on this one. Well, they got a lot of propolis in there. It's just stuck to the frames. See what we've got. I'm hoping to get a lot of honey out of this one. Well, that don't look good. <laughs> it's uh, half full or half gone. I think this next one though was pretty good as far as being capped anyway. So it's not completely full but everything there is capped and same on this side. So what I'm gonna do Let me pull one from over here and then uh, grab this one since it's already up. I'll just pop the honey robber on here and take care of it. So that's fully capped. This side is not, but I'm going to do a shake test on it, get the bees off it. And I'm going to come right over here and shake it and see if any of that comes out. And a little bit did right there, but not very much. So that's probably something they collected the last uh, day, yesterday and today. So I'm gonna put the honey robber on this, get the bees out of there, and this one's gonna get harvested. Okay, we're gonna be using this fume board. And Honey robber, which is butyric acid, basically. Honey robber, you get this from Man Lake. It uh, has a little bit of unpleasant smell. Uh, someone like uh, vomited peaches is probably what it smells like. It's kind of fruity and then kind of pungent. So all at the same time. So we're, while we're waiting on this, uh, we'll go work, start working on these over here. So 
So some of you may be thinking I'm not getting a lot of honey, and that's true, because this is the fall. Our fall nectar flow is not that strong. And these have been harvested already from the spring. Okay. Looks like I got uh, four frames in here that were drawn out. There's nothing in that. So I think this one's going to be empty as well. Yeah, no weight to it. There's a little bit of nectar in here. There's a little bit of nectar on this frame. If you see any shiny, that's a, a nectar, but that's, you can't do anything with that. So this super needs to come off the hive for winter. So this will be one we just sit out and let the bees open feed on. Well, there's a lot of bees in there still. Huh. I think I'll move that super right here and shake those bees off in the main hive. Okay, I'm gonna relocate this uh, super quite a ways off and get it away from here. First, I wanna check the weight before I close this up. I can tell by looking down in here that there's a lot of honey in there. Yeah, it's fairly heavy, but uh, not as heavy as I'd like it. So we may need some feed on this uh, number five. Okay, let's get that super out of here, then we'll go check this one out. Got me another vehicle, got the four-wheeler, and I set my bee mate up way down by the old pond, or it's a pond, it's not old pond. Set it up down by the pond. Gonna get these wet frames out of here before we, uh, so you already got bees on them before we start robbing. So we'll just move these out as we pull them off. I'll start right here since the camera's set up so you can see better. This is the California Queen from Wildflower Meadows. I don't expect anything to be in this top super. It's just up there for preservation. They've capped most of it, but it's really dark. So that's going to be your uh, goldenrod honey right there. We'll shake the bees off of this frame. Put it in this nuke box. Get the lid on it. OK. 
cover it up. I'm gonna take those supers down there so the bees can clean them off. And when you do that, always be sure you have them at least 100 yards away from your, your hives so you don't start a robbing frenzy inside your apiary. <laughs> 